What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Marcus here. And I am sitting outside uh, Chipotle. Waiting for my sister to come by. We're gonna have lunch together. But while I'm waiting for her to come down this ramp, let me share a little bit about who I am, what I do. Again, like I said before in my last vlog, I do everything. I'm a I'm a creative person. Anything that has to do with digital media, rather that's with, you know shooting the camera or graphic design, illustration work, website design, I do it all. But prior to my career as a creative director in this world of uh, filmmaking and, and and photography and content creating, I had a 15 year career as an IT professional, creating networks, uh, desktop support server administration that's what i did i did that for uh both profit businesses and non-profit businesses the last company i worked for um this company been in existence for a very long time then all of a sudden they decided to shut their doors down based off a lot of stuff that was going on behind the scenes i ended up getting laid off along with everybody that worked for the organization we're talking over 200 and something people i use that as an opportunity versus using it as a situation where I can just start being negative and thinking badly about my future. I loved photography at the time. I picked up a camera maybe a year prior to that um, happening with the with the organization, and I loved it. So what I ended up doing is creating a business from it. I never went back to full time work. So today will be about five years being in business full time on my own. Um, pinto beans for both and chicken for both And most of you guys that are subscribed to my channel are probably like me you're creative people you guys see the world differently than everyone else sees the world You know, you don't subscribe to anything but being creative All right, so let's see. I don't carry a knife on me normally. In the studio I have a knife, but when I'm on the street, I like to play it safe. Um, so I got the Be Stable Cam mini tripod with the quarter inch thread right here that should screw right into the bottom of the crane handle. I got a clamp that's gonna clamp onto the handle and this is gonna hold up my this is gonna hold up my small HD focus monitor junkie yep I know if you guys are looking for a pretty cool bag get this one right here made by a company called Hex it's a pretty dope DSLR bag. Everything is hidden behind here. Boom, got the cream right here. I got my small HD focus monitor right here. We're gonna attach that to this, to this. Get it out the way. All right, so this is what we're gonna be working with. And of course, boom, got the cream right here. All right. So I know you guys are worried about the car and all that stuff. Don't worry about that. You're selling it. You know, it's, it is what it is. All right, so ideally, this is the setup. Of course, the only camera that I have is the camera I'm vlogging with. I have the quick release plate on the bottom of here and on the bottom of, of my uh, A6500. So that way I could pop it on and pop it off whenever I needed to and not have to worry about rebalancing again. That's like one of the main reasons I had the quick release plate on here. So as you can see, the tripod holder holds it pretty cool. And I was using the um, the other handles. Hold on, let me get those. Okay, if you guys remember, from the other one, I was using this. The crane was handle was mounted here, and I was using these handles to hold it. I put these bits on here so I can attach like a LED light or um, the focus monitor. And it already had these feet right here. So it can easily just kind of like stand. And the issue was, I don't think I was getting like the best results 
because this is this is made for you to hold it with one hand so now I have it it's in one hand I got the monitor right there it's easy standing it's stable yeah so I'm gonna do a, a test probably tomorrow or soon so we can really see how this thing works and as always if you like this subscribe please smash the like button subscribe to my channel more to come i got a wedding to sh i got a few weddings to shoot i'm gonna do some behind the scenes on that I got a music video i'm working on i'm gonna do some behind the scenes on that show the process my process anyway of what i go through to shoot the music video i gotta edit there's gonna be so much more coming to this channel i'm excited i hope you are thank you for watching peace